Um, I'm, I'm gonna shoot it and see if anything happens. Now, and see if anything happens. In all honesty, if you shoot a nuclear reactor, I don't think, it's just gonna be fallout, but let's see if there's any Easter eggs here. Do you guys ever think about what would happen if the wars in the past would have gone on longer? And what vehicles, what engineering marvels, what things would have been developed? Now, that, I'm, I hope you guys know what I mean when I say this. I would love to have seen what could have been. But we know what will happen or what would have happened if, if that people would have died. A lot of people, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of bad, bad. War is bad, okay? War is horrible. Families and everything. I'm just saying engineering standpoint, it would have been amazing. That's all I'm saying. In a theoretical world, okay? Uh, today, a big shout out to Beckett and Gentle, sorry. I just TV8, just, this, this is just going to blow my mind right now. For putting together this, the model and the user mission today. This, um, this was a, we're going to talk about it here in a second. Once it loads. It's a, it's kind of top heavy. So this is the TV8. And what it was, it was a proposed nuclear powered tank. And this was the mock-up. Now, it was never built with a nuclear reactor nor steel. It only had a wooden prototype. And I'm putting my foot down and, vo and voicing my opinion. That's enough for this to be in-game. I have a question. How many people take me seriously? If you do, just let me know that a lot of the times on this channel, I'm joking and shooting the shit, so just FYI. I'm joking about this should be in game. Would I care if it was in game? I don't know. I mean, shoot, guys, in two years, War Thunder's gonna have Super Yamato or Yamato, however you pronounce it, tanks in the in underwater space inside the Earth's core. Okay. But carrying on. Let's go ahead and press O. So ammo storage is in the hole, I guess we can call it that. The crew, the commander, the gunner, and the driver are all in the turret. I guess that's what we'll call it. How does the gun go up and down? Oh my gosh, the whole thing moves, okay. How much elevation can we get? So it looks like maybe about 15, 10, uh, maybe 20 degrees. 20 plus minus 10. Now this one's powered by a nuclear reactor. And inside the real one, what it was supposed to have was AB, ABC plating, which is anti-radiation. I have batshit crazy design, everybody. But... It was supposed to keep the crew radiation free or low levels of radiation through operation of the vehicle. The reason why I think it was called TV-8 is because the prototype was powered by a V-8. I don't know, this one, that doesn't look like a normal engine. We're, we're going to call this one nuclear, especially with that radiation sign on the very top. Um, gun, 90 millimeter. Let's go ahead and test it out. It's so... This is weird. This is really strange. And apparently, I can't even use this thing. Apparently, this is supposed to be amphibious as well. It has a 90 millimeter gun, apparently the same gun as on the T95 E1, I believe, that we see in game. And then we have one hell of a 50 cal. 
In all honesty, it looks like some really great protection for the crew. Until you look at that neck. Don't know what the armor value was there. I mean, anything, some pretty easy trap shots to happen. You just shoot the lower and then it's just going to ricochet down into the hole. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good thing they, they didn't build this. It's a very, very good thing. Um, I'm, I'm going to shoot it and see if anything happens. Now, you know, honestly, if you shoot a nuclear reactor, I don't think it's just going to be fallout. But let's see if there's any Easter eggs here. Yeah, that is not good at all. Fuel tank? What did I just shoot? Plutonium? Uranium? Fred Flintstone vitamins? Did you guys ever eat those when you were little? Those things were like... That was a highlight of my morning. Okay. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the test drive and see if we can put this thing through its paces. It's on Alaska. So, think about this. You know, the, the Russians invaded and somehow America has nuclear, nuclear vehicles. And this is where they were supposed to be deployed in areas like Alaska where there wasn't a big, you know, city or anything like that or wilderness. Okay, moving forward. You know, Beckett told me this thing was amphibious. All right, we got a little bit of a drive. I think I have an idea once we get kind of towards the city. And by the way, maps this big? Look at how big Alaska really is. Wouldn't it be cool if, like, maybe this was a cap? There was a bridge here, and there's a cap there, and there's a cap there. And then there was a cap here. And the game would go on for like 30, 40, 50 minutes, and you could join and leave. Why do we... Guys. We have World War Mode. And that that's a pretty cool concept, but why... Why can't we do stuff like this? We already have it. Why can't... War Thunder make a game mode to fit this map and not to have SP points or anything like that. I mean, sure, you should be punished if you get killed in some sort of way, like you can't use that vehicle anymore or it's on a cooldown or something like that. But imagine sniping things out at like this. It feels natural. This thing's high velocity. Oh my gosh, Apple's listening to me. Okay, moving in. We're not going to cross that bridge. I am a highly sophisticated tank here. Just imagine this, dude. Shooting, shooting, shooting like tanks shoot. Shooting three kilometers away. Not like this far. Actually, that far. Oh! Let's see where he penetrated. I'm interested. What? The AIs, the first shot of the whole... Who, who are you? Who are you? The first... Is that... Is that am I done? They, they... The AIs won't expect this. Oh, this is, this is a drivable river. Okay. Oh no, there we go! Amphibious? We are amphibious. We have about maybe six, eight inches of water underneath us. And imagine, imagine 20,000 of these invading Russia. It's like the American Ukrataplan. But much, much slower. It actually is a really good design. If you're on everything bad for you. Oh, the gun's underwater. 
Okay, so no more water. 10 kilometers is, is, is not going to be the most enjoyable footage to watch. Gentle, I'm I'm not I'm not trying to throw shade at you, but I, I thought you would you know you know make us go like 800 kilometers or something. For for future reference, for future reference. Uh, but we're just gonna try to clear clear out this whole entire town and see what happens next. Tank should be in front of me. I only have like two or three more spawns. Maybe to the right. Ha ha! But uh, if you guys want to download this model, try it out for yourself, play with it, enjoy it, uh, it will be in the link in the description below. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. Many thanks to uh, Beckett and Gentle for putting this, um, this mission and model together for us to enjoy today. Be safe. Don't do anything reckless. I will see you guys tomorrow as always. If not, the next day. Have a great day, guys. Peace out.